Hello. It is spring on the farm. The trees are starting to bloom. There's blackberry brambles everywhere. And we have started the roof transition work. So I wanted to give y'all just a little update on to um, just to show where we've been since the last video and where we're going next. So first of all, you'll notice that um, we have all of the sheet metal in. It's all riveted. The only other rivets we have to deal with, and I'll show this back here, is you'll see that we've got a row of rivets here and then rivets all the way around this piece. This is an 11 foot piece, something like that. And uh, in the middle here, on the inside of the bus, um, there's, uh, there's a rib and we've marked it here. And so eventually we are gonna put one row of rivets all the way up on each of those ribs, um, just for stability sake, because we're gonna be putting in windows and um, I don't know, 11 feet's just a long ways to not have anything riveted in between. So we figured we'd do that. Um, but okay, let me go and show you what's going on on the inside real fast. You'll see here, uh, Patrick has already installed the little side patches that are part of the um, transition. And okay, going inside. I mean, first of all, I just wanna show you that I think last, last video, this was just full of leaves and it was disgusting. Um, since then we've bought like all of the uh, windows that we're gonna use. This is our kitchen window. This is gonna be a bathroom window, bedroom window, uh, living room window. And we've cleaned up, there is a, there's a pile of dirt right here. But, uh, we've cleaned up this area a ton. And uh, as you can see back here, this used to be the bathroom and it was just disgusting. But the last time we came out, I spent a long time scrubbing and getting all of this about as clean as it's gonna get uh, so that we can you know, get ready to cover it up and everything. Now that the um, interior is, um, well, about to be airtight and watertight. It's, you know, we still have a little bit of sealing to do. We need to put Sikaflex around some of the edges. And we are gonna put J channels on the outside, like up at the top. And so um, that's gonna kind of act as a gutter, like a rain gutter. So those will sit like right above uh, this sheet metal piece all the way along the edge of the bus. And um, that'll help with, you know, any of the like rain drainage and stuff. Um, but we are gonna do a lot of sick of flexing in here just to, we gotta be careful cause uh, yeah, having, having leaks and rain come into the, into the bus when it's our house is not optimal, so. But yeah, so today, um, oh, before I leave, uh, you can see right here, we've put up this sheet metal and it's mostly, um, like the curve is okay, it's not perfect. But what we're gonna do today is we're going to like slice off just a teeny tiny little sliver of this ledge here just to get it um, because you can see that it's like, it's not really even. And we want for this to be able to kind of slide down and go right on top of this rib here. So that's the first thing we're gonna do is slice this off all the way down. Then we're going to um, grind it down because there's like a layer of paint and stuff here. We want to grind it down just enough to get to the sheet metal because we're going to be uh, welding this. And after we have done those two steps, uh, slice it off so it's all even, grind it down so it's to the sheet metal, 
Then we're gonna place this um, and start kind of grinding it to make sure that everything touches where it needs to touch because we need there not to be like big uh, gaps like there is here. It needs to touch down better. So we're gonna be um, going like right here in the middle where it's touching, that needs to be a bit more curved and different things like that. So that is the work of the day. I think uh, we'll check back in when we're done and I'll show you what we've finished today. Baby, do you want to explain what you've been working on here? Well, while you were up there grinding away some of the uh, the sheet metal on the top. Yeah, I'm working on this transition. And preparing preparing for the, uh, the transition attachment. I had to do something with myself, so I decided to take <laughs> this window that we got at um, uh, Human Habitat for Humanity Restore and take the frame off. Now, this was a brand new window that they had probably, I think, in a... Um, uh, show home or uh, uh, somewhere. So they took this out and I had this big frame in, it was probably a big brick wall that it was sitting in and we knew this was not going to be any good so I just took it, took it upon myself to take it apart. And this and is what we got. And look how thin it is, that's exactly what we wanted. And it's double paned, right? It sure is. It still has all the stickers and everything on it so that's why we think it was just like yeah. used in a temporary fashion. Uh, yeah, this would be great. Yeah. We got all of our windows at the Habitat for Humanity Restore for uh, probably under 150 or 200 bucks total. Yeah, something like that. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Nice. You want to hold it up and show where it's how it's gonna look? Um, <laughs> this is this is the outside. I think. I don't think it matters at this point. I'm gonna put it right about here. But up as high as you can get it. Yeah, with maybe maybe a couple inches. Yep. That's where it's gonna be. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna look good. Yeah, I think so too. All right, good job, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Don't fall. <laughs> Don't fall. I'm just up here tracing, like I'm at day camp or something. <laughs> so, so we did the we did the the rough cut to make it the angle and the curve. Yep. But now we're gonna try and finesse it to get it properly fit. So yep. when we weld, it works. It'll be it'll be tighter fit, which is what we want. I'm a bit afraid to cat. I couldn't go up. Okay, so this is the end of the first day of us trying to attach this transition piece. Here, basically what we did today was we we started by grinding down this uh, bottom rib, like to make sure that there was metal showing here and to make sure that there weren't any weird like wobbly bits hanging out. Um, but then we kept noticing that there were like fairly big gaps in certain areas and so we went and I got on top of the roof and I traced a line using a little uh, a very tiny block of wood and uh, that gave us like something to cut to make it a little bit more exact and you might not be able to tell but now yes there is some light showing but it is a lot more um, like regular all the way across. There's not like uh, big gaps in some spots and small gaps in others. All the, all the gap is the same. So what we've decided to do <clears throat> is we're gonna take a piece of flat bar like this. And let's see if I can, okay. And we're going to weld it onto the back here to act as kind of like a backing plate when we weld on the other side. So this, we'll just like tack this in all the way across, 
kind of like this and that'll make it so we have something to weld to even though there is a bit of a gap there. That might be overkill, but it feels better than just trying to like weld this gap closed, which feels a little bit uh, sketchy. So anyway, that's what we got done today. Um, we're hungry, so we're gonna go get something to eat. But uh, the next time we work on this, um, we will probably be welding. That'll probably be uh, the, uh, yeah, all we're doing. No more cutting, no more any of that other stuff. So progress, yay. GoPro, stop recording.